Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be installing this NRG steering wheel and Project Prelude. What we got here, we got an NRG wheel right here, nice and clean. We got the short hub. This is what you would need for your specific car. Steering wheels are universal. The hub is vehicle specific. And then you got the quick release, which is universal. And also, I forgot, and also, and also I ordered a home, and also I ordered a home, what the fuck? <laughs> and also I ordered a horn button to match the car a little bit better. So that should hopefully, it, it look kind of big, but hopefully it'll fit in there. I got this off eBay and it said it's for an NRG wheel. So hopefully that'll fit because it'll definitely tie everything together. It's red. I have a red stitch leather uh, boot and a Mugen style shift knob. So I just wanted to tie everything, all the colors in together. But right, that's enough talking. We finna hop in the car and we finna get all this stuff installed. All right, so now we in the car and this is the stock steering wheel. What you would need to do, I also found the write up online. So I'm gonna leave that in the description. There's a little ta a little cover right here you want to pop that off to get to the airbag and also behind this cruise control panel it is another screw to, that's holding on the steering wheel then underneath is the uh srs clip another panel you can pop off i'm gonna get those panels popped off real quick and i'm gonna show y'all more of uh what, what i'm talking about all right so we got the little cruise control panel right here removed and it's a uh t30 screw deep in there that's one of the airbag bolts or airbag screws spin this around i got this cover off and as you can see, T30 right there, holding the airbag on. And then underneath, you have to take a Phillips to pop this cover off. And that'll allow you to get to the actual connector to that, that's connected to the airbag. That way you can disconnect it and pop it out. So I'm going to go ahead and get these screws out, get this airbag out. And at that point, the wheel will be able to come off. So let me knock that out real quick. All right, so I got the screws out of the airbag. And I also have it disconnected under, underneath. So now I should just be able to pop out. So let's see just like that so here is an airbag if you've never seen one you want to keep these face down in case it has any accidental discharge and also i forgot to mention this make sure to disconnect your battery you do not want it live while you're working on it this is basically deactivated it should be good as you can see in the middle right here the only thing that's holding on your steering wheel is this bolt right here it's a 19 millimeter we're gonna back that off and once we back that off we should be able to just literally bang the steering wheel off before you take your steering wheel off, make sure that it is straight. Make sure your wheels are straight because if you do not make sure, your wheels might be turned a little bit, but your steering wheel might be straight. Nobody wants that. So now, this is loose. Sometimes it's tight. You might have to bang it a little bit, but this is actually loose, so that's good. We have some connectors in the way we got to slide up out the way. Oh, let me see. Oh, shit. Well... That happened, but that's fine because we don't need this. But this is your clock spring. This is what allows you to have a horn in the air, an airbag, but we don't need this. Obviously, I destroyed it, but it's not a big deal. So next thing, to pull all this out. Hey, don't be like me. <laughs> be gentle with your stuff. All right, so I got all the screws out. So now this shit, it's three of them, I think. Let me let this down. It should just pop off. So it's not three. I think it's five. So it's two in the middle, one right here in the front, and I'm and it's I'm pretty sure it's just these two all the way in the back. Uh, you can fill them with your hand. Oh, this is the long one that they was talking about. I'll be back. I need a longer screwdriver. And there, some of them are different, so um, we're gonna be testing to see uh, where which one goes where because some of them are different lengths. So now we have the steering the steering stuff exposed. This is the clock spring I was talking about. Three screws holding that on, and this is, don't need it no more. Go ahead and pop this off. All right, so this is the connector that connects everything, horn, airbag, everything to the car. Pin one is uh, the horn. If you want to mess with the airbag to get the airbag light off, uh, follow the right up. So what you want to do is get you a little, uh, like a foot of uh, wire. You can just either shove it right into the pin and take that up, or you can... You can chop right into the horn wire. I already tested this. I hooked the battery back up. Number one is the horn 4th Gen Prelude 92 to 96. Your car will vary. So now that we got that, it's time to actually hook up the steering wheel. So what we want to do is it's something called a shoehorn. I will link that in the bottom below. You can get that. And what that will need to do is contact about the back of your short hub. This is the contact point for the horn. Or you could take a filler gauge or a paper clip. The ghetto ways. Literally just hook the wire up to whatever you're using. And all you gotta do is just make sure it's contact and keep in contact with the back of this because 
the horn connection is what's actually allowing the uh, the current to flow. Now it's time for the assembly process. So as y'all can see, I got my filler gauge on with the wire connected to pin one on the steering wheel harness. If I touch this to the little spindle, Beep. horn works. So I already tested it with the steering wheel. Um, it does work. So now it's time to go ahead and put this all back together with the new steering wheel. So as y'all can see with this car, I don't know if this is vehicle specific, but it's two indents right here. You have to go into the two little indents right there. And the hub should go right on like that. Perfect. Then you want to take your boat, take a little bit of Loctite. You're supposed to use Loctite blue. All I got is Loctite red. So I'm literally just going to use a tiny bit because you know Loctite red be going too crazy. That bad boy is on there. I can steer the car with this. So now it's time to get the quick release, which is right here. If you're using a quick release, you have to take it apart, like actually quick release it <laughs> in order to um, screw it onto the hub. So now that we have it released, we'll go ahead and get that on here with the screws that were provided. All right, so now we got that on. Now before we um put this all back together, I need to swap this horn button out. We don't need the nuts anymore. I don't think we need the nuts anymore. <laughs> That's fire. No offense to NRG, but I just wanted the red to match the red to match the red and the Honda make it look more stock. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in and I'm gonna show y'all the finished product. All right, so as y'all can see, I finally got it installed. Now, one beautiful thing about it is, you know, getting in and out this car can be kind of a challenge. But now, I mean, even that the, the wheel is smaller now, so it ain't too bad. But to make it even easier, I can just pop it off like that, which is so sweet. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I appreciate y'all watching. I want to go ahead and shoot some B-roll, like, while it's sunny outside. It's nighttime right now, so I want to get some nice video when it's sunny. But when it comes to the install, I am officially done. If y'all got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm going to try to respond to all of them. Also, to make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I hope y'all enjoy my cinematic collage I'm going to put together on this steering wheel. It made the car look so much like newer and fresher inside. But enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. So I don't know if the camera captured that, but as I was recording a B-roll, the car was running in the background, but it just died out of nowhere. And look what we have here. This is the timing belt. Not only is it timing belt, if you look at it, it's like these marks on there, but then it's these marks on there. I don't know what's what's going on with the timing belt. It looks like it got wet with some oil too. Um, if you look at the cam gears, they are now out of time this one is facing up and i was facing to the right the intake um this is probably the worst case scenario so i just put the valve cover just to basically confirm that i heard i, I damn near knew that at the time it, it was some time and bit related so i just pulled the, the cover to confirm so project prelude is back down i don't know what i'm gonna do we got a new problem a very big problem